I think that uh, politics changes, uh, sorry, people change change politics. Politic, pe politics doesn't necessarily change people. And what, what people are experiencing on the ground right now with climate change uh, is an undeniable manifestation of its consequences. So I think you've, helpfully, you've seen the debate migrate in the West from is this happening and who's responsible to it for it to a much more productive one that is what are we going to do about it that's not to say the solutions are simple or, or lack complexity in any way shape or form but i think the debate when you take a kind of macro view of things the debate has moved on to a much more uh, productive ground the example i always use is um had you told me even as recently as five years ago that the successful candidate for president of the United States would stand on a debate stage in, in October of an election year and say that his express, uh, his explicit economic policy for the United States was to move it beyond the fossil fuel era. I would have said you were watching an episode of West Wing and not something that was happening in real life. Yet it did happen. It happened in Pennsylvania. Joe Biden was elected president. There are enormous inertial forces within the U.S. political system that will that will mitigate against progress on climate change. But I think when you take the long, the very long view, um, the direction of travel is set in. Mm -hmm.